when I finally got the, got the idea that it's not just the chops and the buzzing and this and that, it's the air, it's the, 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 the diaphragm and the air is, is part of the embouchure, you know. Wow. I mean, that, that's got to, I have a tendency to forget that sometimes, you know, I am practicing, I'm sitting back, and, you know, everything's fine, you know. But then like when I start remembering and I sit up straight and think of the air, you know, as part of the embouchure and everything, things start to fall into place better, you know. So that's, I think, I think about any brass player would tell you that. Though. That's a great perspective though, to envision them as one unit. You well, know? That's it, it cool. does, it, it's helped me a lot. I, I was telling you about the dystonia and that's one of the things that has really, really helped me is just like focusing on the air and, and the, the embouchure up here as being all one thing, all, all embouchure, you know? Yeah. And the air push, the air is, is part of it, you know, and, and I don't know, that helped me more, probably more than anything. Hello, and welcome to the 19th episode of Bone Masters, where we get to meet living trombone legends, hear them play, have master classes, and talk about music. This week we feature the wonderfully talented Jack Redman in his first appearance ever on Bone Masters. Now, as far as lead playing, what type of um, advice and qualities do you, do you recommend? Well, everybody's got their own ideas about it, but probably from playing with, uh, with Bill Holman all these years, uh, I like to play right up on the beat. I don't like to lay back. I mean, there are certain, th certain things that, that you do lay back on, but like, I mean, when, when you're playing like a, uh, not just an up-tempo tune, but a, a, any tune, just a medium tempo or something, I like to stay right up on the beat, you know, and, and uh, you know, when you have eighth notes, uh, you know, like short notes and that, I like for them to pop, you know, not just to pop, mm -hmm. but pop, you know, and uh, I don't know, just trying to, Number one, like trying to trying to play with it with the lead trumpet player, you know. I mean, like the lead trumpet player is like he's the guy that's got got the reins, you know. So like you got to stay with him. And then when you have a soli, of course, well, like you you can do what you want, but uh, you know, staying with the lead trumpet player and then uh, hoping that the other guys stay with you, you know. Hey everybody, Paul the Trombonist here. Thanks for tuning into this episode of Bone Masters, and thank you, Jack Redman. Wow. He's going to talk about some other really cool stuff, so you're going to want to stay tuned for his future episodes that are in the horizon. Next episode will feature Charlie Morales, so you're going to want to stay tuned to that episode because, boy, is he going to tell you some stuff that's going to change your mind, your life, and everything about you in a positive way. We're filming more people around here, so look forward to that. You know, the goal is to document all the greatest living trombonists of our time period so we can have a gift to society in the future when our time here is gone on this planet. Whew. And also to share knowledge with each other. Whew. I'd like to thank all the viewers, all my patrons, and BAC Music. And most importantly, everybody, our announcer. He, uh, he's been eager He's been waiting this whole time to say something. Hello! And the other day, I walked into the telephone booth and I called my past self. My past self told me a little bit about my future self. Now remember, you can tune a piano, but you cannot tune a fish.